Hi and welcome or welcome back to the Big Knit Energy YouTube channel. My name's Sammy and this is episode 55 of my knitting and spinning podcast. Um, it's been I think three weeks since I filmed because I was out of town for a week um, visiting my family and I got like almost no crafting done that whole time. So it's still about the same as a two week uh, video. But let me see. I don't think I have any finished objects because I think my love note was finished last time. I think. Two knitting whips, well, a knitting and a crochet whip that I actually worked on. So I'll show you guys the baby blanket I'm working on first. This is a pattern by We Are Knitters. Um, and this is the a seed blanket. And it's in We Are Knitters um, cotton yarn. It's like a worsted weight in the colorway Yarnicorn. So the cheese is where I was last time. I have to do one more row of hearts and then the border and be done. So hopefully I'll get that done this weekend. Um, yeah, need to make another one of these. Uh, I don't really want to, <laughs> but I have this in a ginger snap fibers bag. I like these bags where the drawstring um, goes from like that to like that. And so there's like all the structure of the bag keeps its same shape kind of, and it just pulls the top in. I like that a lot. And then the next is my crochet granny shawl that I'm working on with my scraps from the scrap vent or like friend advent sw swap I did with um, Phoenix crafted by the fates. And let's see, the peachy color was the last one I was on. Um, so I did two different blues, a white, and I'm on a second yellow. That's how far we are. Um, I still have a lot of yarns left to add into this. So I'm just going as far as I can, or as far as I think I can, trying to end the row, or trying to change yarns at the end of the row. I have failed at that once, um, but I, don't know if I could have made it on this white one, but there is a lot of the white that I added. I don't think I could have now that the rows are getting longer, but I'm making a magic knot ball. This magic knot ball is not just from this shawl. This has also got um, other tiny scraps that I didn't have enough after making a square for my crochet granny square blanket. But I have this in a Hannah Lou Designs bag that I got from Bumblebee Acres. And um, for this, I'm actually using a crochet bandana pattern because I really like um, the way it does the increases and everything. So it's a free pattern and I will link it below. I think it's by Elderflower Yarn Crafts maybe, not 100% sure. And this little stitch marker or progress keeper that I have on here is from Crafted by the Fates. It's a little moon. So I'm gonna move that up now. Oh, and I did crochet a granny square. I think only one. Let's see. I have two finished ones here, but I think I had already shown you guys this one. This was in Eternally Yours uh, from Crafted by the Fates. And this one is from um, Chromatic Yarns. And this was the Christmas Eve cast on set. Um, I forget the name of it. Oh, Christmas drag, maybe? Um, spinning, I haven't done a lot of spinning. I did start a new spin, but I didn't work on it that much because I kept dropping my spindle on concrete and it was making me frustrated, so. Here it is. Yeah, so like the bottom got kind of chewed up. Here is the start of a spin with fossil fibers bat. The bat is from the How to Train Your Dragon 2 collection, and the bat is the colorway um, The Isle of Burke. 
and I'm spinning this on a bobbin from Cherry Cherry Spindles. Uh, oh, sorry, a bobbin spindle from Cherry Cherry Spindles. So it is uh, different. It spins different, feels different, but I'm liking it and I'm excited. So there's that. Fossil Fibers Fiber, Cherry Cherry Spindles. Um, let's see. I didn't work on this sock at all. My gumdrop socks. I did card up another bat. Um, let's see. Yeah. It looks really crazy. Um, I think I overloaded the carter, but this is actually like the same weight of fibers as this. Let me move this as this is um the only difference here is i dizzed this off the carter and also um the way i loaded the fibers on was different so we'll see i don't really know if they're gonna spin up like a whole lot different or not um i might spin this on my wheel and then finish spinning that on my spindle because i'm just such a slow spinner i'm impatient with spindles um and see what the singles look like, if they look a lot different, and maybe ply them together. So, move that. For acquisitions, I have, sorry for looking away. For acquisitions, I have two. The first one is from Gage Dye Works, and this is um, from the Birth Flowers collection. Now, my birthday is not in April, but this is called April Tulips, and this is a four ply sock. And it's 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon. Um, the reason I wanted to get this is because, well, it's really, really pretty. If you have not seen it, go look at Gage Dye Works Instagram or go to their website. Um, but the reason I got it is because tulips are like really, really, really big where I'm, I'm from. It's really popular. I grew up in a town that like made all their money based on like tulip tourism. So, and then I have tulips tattooed on my arm. So yes, I got that. And I also, from Fossil Fibers, um, decided to get a mug. This is a hand-thrown mug, and it has a little square sheep or squeep on it. Really cute. I love the little squeep. Um, let's see. I think... That's it. Wow, I really didn't have anything to share with you guys. So, sorry about that. Hopefully, I'll have more to show next time. And, yeah, I'm going to get back to crafting. <laughs> so, hopefully, I can have more to show you. Bye.